Welcome back everyone to another Weather Glance video. In today's forecast, we're going to be going over how much snowfall you could see this winter season, all coming up in just a bit. All right, in our first slide, we're going to take a look at our snowfall anomaly for the snowfall season of 2021 to 2022. And here you can see that we're going to be starting off with our slightly below average region that stretches from the central Great Plains all the way down into the southeastern United States. Now, what is going to be causing this is the jet stream pattern. So we are going to have kind of a wild jet stream pattern this winter that is going to vary um, at times coming down through the western United States. So this is going to be the polar jet stream coming down through the western United States and then heading back up through the northeast. So this is going to be bringing a lot of cold air even into portions of Kansas, Oklahoma, and northern Texas. Uh, but what is going to be happening is this is going to be colder, drier air. So uh, portions of Texas could see some snowfall. Now, it's not going to be bringing above average snowfall, but we are often times going to see the, jet, the poor jet stream coming down through Montana and Minnesota, as well as through Wisconsin. And this could often be bringing a lot of colder conditions. So uh, we're going to see a lot of snowfall activity for the Northeast. But right here um, in the central United States, the jet stream is not always going to be passing over this region and will likely be staying northward so this is going to keep this area relatively dry here as a lot of dry air is going to be staying over this region here now what is going to be happening for the southeastern United States not as much as a dry condition as well as uh, it's going to be warmer so what is going to be causing this region is not dry conditions this is actually going to be a lot of precipitation here as well and we will be getting into that with our winter forecast um, coming up here in just a couple weeks um, but here you can see that we will be having more of a wet pattern this is going to be warm and wet so probably a lot of thunderstorm conditions down here but that's why we're going to be seeing below average snowfall so you that doesn't mean you won't see any snowfall at all but that means your snowfall will likely be reduced as it could get colder down here at times but definitely not cold enough to produce snowfall so you won't see as much snowfall as you usually do this winter all right, and on our next slide, we're going to be taking a look at the slightly above average region here. So we have our two slightly above average regions here um, that you can see. And the first one that we're going to be getting into is this one up here in the northeastern United States. So this stretches all the way from Michigan all the way down to northern Virginia. And this is going to be caused by that jet stream again. It's going to be often coming right over here. So you guys up here in the northeastern United States, as well as the Ohio Valley, are going to be getting frequent jet stream patterns, which is going to be shoving those low pressure systems right over top of you. And that is what's going to be giving you a lot of that snowfall advantage. A lot of cold air here this winter. So we're going to be seeing a very colder winter here uh, starting around November. Uh, and that's really going to move into the area. And we're going to see some of those really cold punches come anywhere from January all the way to about March. And that's going to be providing a lot of snowfall. So your main snowfall season will start around January and then it's going to head through to about March. And uh, here you can see that this is going to be causing the slightly above average region. So not too much of above average activity here, but just slightly above average region because the jet stream will be focusing uh, sometimes up through Michigan and sometimes down through the Ohio Valley, keeping that uh, really active with snowfall. And on our second slightly above average region here, we have up here in anywhere from Great Falls, Montana, all the way down to Oregon. Uh, in this area right here uh, that's surrounding, it's surrounding Western Oregon as well. So Western Oregon is the above average uh, region here. So we're not going to be getting into that just yet, but we are going to be focusing on the slight green region here. And uh, right here is where you can be seeing some of that slightly above average activity. So again, not above average, but we are looking at slightly above average snowfall for this region, again, due to that uh, jet stream. Now, what this is going to be caused by is not necessarily uh, the polar jet stream, but two jet streams. So we have the Pacific jet stream and the polar jet stream. So here, you guys who have love snowfall have a better advantage here as well, because not only are you going to be seeing that polar jet stream come down through this area, but you also will see the Pacific jet stream oftentimes coming over Oregon. And when those two collide, that could be providing not only moisture, but that's going to be providing cold air. So we have cold air from this polar jet stream and then moisture from this Pacific jet stream. And that could be causing a lot of snowy conditions here through Oregon. So keep an eye out for that because a lot of snowfall could start up here shortly as we get into later October. And and uh, you could definitely see some active snowfall and winter storm patterns here coming up. All right, and on our next slide, we're going to be taking a look at our above average region here. So uh, we have two above average regions. We're going to start off with this one up in the northeastern United States. And this is anywhere from... Uh, eastern Ohio all the way down through northern Virginia and then we head up through the entire northeastern United States including New England and anywhere from here this is going to be you are going to be seeing probably about 10 to even 20 inches above average so 20 is pushing it definitely we're talking about that's a lot of snowfall folks and that's a lot of increased snowfall so that's not for everywhere but some of these areas uh, around the Great Lakes could expect about 20 inches above average snowfall uh, possible now don't don't start fearing anything that is not going to do anything dangerous that's just spread out along the course the winter so that means that it's not going to fall all at once but throughout the course of the winter you could see maybe 10 to 20 uh inches 
above average snowfall. So uh, that's a lot of snowfall increase. But um, throughout the main region here, we could see anywhere. If you you guys usually get about 30 to 40 inches of snowfall. Now this year, we can expect about uh, 50 to 60 inches of snowfall down throughout the Pittsburgh area. And then when you're getting up into Boston, Massachusetts and areas like that, that's where you can start to expect, uh, you know, how you usually get that 70 inch snowfall mark. You could be seeing 80, possibly 90 total inches this winter. So keep that in mind. We're going to have a very snowy pattern, especially with some of those nor'easters. Right now, we have a very active hurricane pattern coming up through the eastern uh, Atlantic. So that could also uh, describe what our conditions might be like for this nor'easter pattern that could be leading us into the winter. All right, in our second region over here, which is this above average region over here in western Oregon, uh, here, this is going to be caused, we already discussed this, by the polar jet stream coming down and the Pacific jet stream creating moisture and cold air right over that centralized area. And that could often be uh, providing a lot of snowfall this winter. So keep that in mind. If you love snowfall, that's where you want to be because that's where the, a lot of the snowfall pattern is going to be coming through and uh, a very snowy conditions for these two regions here. All right, now we're going to be getting into the more interesting maps. This is our final map that we're going to be looking at through this video. And uh, this is going to be showing you how much total snowfall you can expect over the entire course of the winter. So this isn't all at once, but this is talking about through the entire course of the winter. So anywhere starting even now, all the way to about May. So any, t any snowfall you get this season, throughout the entire snowfall season, even up until May for some of those areas, this is what you can expect. So in our first region, we're gonna be taking a look at this bottom line region down here, uh, the very first region. So anything below this in Southern Texas and Florida, we really don't expect any snowfall for you, especially around east of Los Angeles through the Phoenix area, no snowfall, no snowfall is expected throughout those areas as well. So for our first region here, we're going to encircle this real quick. This is going to be for this region, even including Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we're going to be going down through Arizona, through some of those foresty regions, and then back up through California, up through here. So uh, this first region here, which is this light uh, whitish color, white blue color, uh, here you can expect one to five inches of snowfall. So throughout this region, you can expect um, anywhere from... Uh, starting around one inch to some of these really southern areas such as New Orleans all the way up to five inches now for for those of you in Atlanta Georgia you are close to that mountainous region but uh there really isn't that much of a cold air pack of a punch to really give you that type of condition so for Atlanta Georgia uh, Dallas Texas that's really where you're going to be uh, st staying is that mark of one to five inches this season. All right, on our next slide, we get into the more interesting territory. This is your benchmark area. This is where that jet stream is going to be bottoming out around uh, the southeastern United States. So uh, over here in North Carolina, this is where you're going to see a lot of that jet stream pattern. And you can often see some snowfall, but that's going to be more rainfall rather than snowfall. But the occasional times that cold air does come down, you definitely will see that snowfall. So we're talking about five to 10 inches here for the entire winter season. And this does not include the most mountainous regions here. We We'll be getting to those mountainous regions in the eastern United States here in just a second. Uh, but here you can see that we do have a widespread region here, including Oklahoma City. Uh, and then it wraps around these mountains in a very tightly positioned area right here around these mountains uh, through Arizona. And then coming back up through uh, Utah and through, New Mex or through Nevada, sorry, and then back through California. So this region here is going to be your 5 to 10 inch region. Um, and basically, you can, you can expect at least 5 inches, but then we move up to that certain area, especially along the mountainous regions here at the bottoms of the mountains, you can expect up to 10 inches of snow possible. So keep that in mind throughout this winter season. If you are a snowfall lover that lives in the southeastern United States, do expect that with those humid conditions and those frequently cold temperatures coming down with that jet stream, this will often feel that snowfall for you guys down there. All right, now on our next region, we're going to be taking a look at our 10 to 20 inch region. This is going to be in that region region also where the jet stream comes down, but around uh, anywhere south of Washington, D.C., uh, through Virginia and North Carolina, we see that 10 to 20 inch region, especially um, we are talking about up through Delaware as well. So um, up through Delaware, we are expecting 10 to 20 inches of snowfall this season. So um, again, with this jet stream pattern, and this is going to be the more colder areas as well. So uh, surrounding that mountainous region through the Smoky Mountains and the Blue Ridge Mountains, uh, all the way up through Kansas, and then wrapping back around these very strong uh, Rocky Mountain regions here, uh, as well down into the Arizona mountains. Uh, this region up through here, uh, wrapping very tightly around these mountains as well through Nevada, um, that is going to be your 10 to 20 inch region here. So anywhere along this region here, you can expect 10 to 20 inches of snowfall possible um, just north of Oklahoma City and down through here uh, due to that jet stream pattern and the frequent cold air activity. So a lot of moisture is going to be relevant here. And uh, we are also going to see a lot of that cold air wrap down here too. So uh, starting off around 10 inches, that is going to be for your more southern areas. So anywhere for that first 
uh, snowfall amount. So if we, we see one inches as the benchmark down here in the southern region, and then we have five inches as the lowest benchmark, and then 10 inches. So this is going to be for your, the bottom part of that little region that we drew. And then the 20 inches is going to be for, more for the northern part up here uh, for the top of this region. So if you're in the middle, you can probably expect about 15 inches. Uh, 20 inches is possible though. And then uh, anywhere near St. Louis, you get up into that 20 inch benchmark as well. All right, now we get into the more hefty stuff here. We are talking about 10 to 20 inches here. Um, this is kind of a harder region to see because we have a lot of uh, around that DC snowfall belt, uh, which is really keeps that dry there. So uh, if you see this little light region here around Washington, DC, this is kind of hard to understand, but a lot of snowfall doesn't occur there. So we are going to be looking at about um, five to 10 inches there instead of 20 to 30. So if you live in that region, expect around five to 10 inches as you don't get a lot of snowfall in that little belt there. Uh, but moving up here through St. Louis, Missouri and Omaha, you can see this uh, region right here. We are looking at this region um, stretching all the way down around the Smoky Mountains and the Blue Ridge Mountains and heading up even through New Jersey. So southern New Jersey, that's where you're going to see as well is 20 to 30 inches. And then things get more complicated as we move throughout the uh, throughout the Colorado Mountain Range and uh, the Rocky Mountain Range as well. So we see a lot of uh, tightly wrapped snowfall regions here. So you have to kind of judge that with a very major grain of salt as it is hard to kind of identify where you are. But yes, this, this region here as well, 10 to 20 inches. And we see that in parts of Northern California as well. All right, now we're moving into our 30 to 40 inch range. So if you live here, you can expect about 30 to 40 inches. Uh, this goes all the way through out the Ohio Valley, up through the Great Plains, um, even around just east of Denver, Colorado, just east, just southeast of uh, Rapid City, South Dakota, and uh, moving through even south of the Pittsburgh area, you're going to expect 30 to 40 inches. And this includes a, actually pretty much the entire region of the Smoky Mountains and Blue Ridge Mountains as well. So you guys can expect 30 to 40 inches of snowfall into that region. Um, part of the Smoky Mountains can expect a little bit more of that. And we will be getting into that in just a second. But up through New York City, you're in that 30 to 40 inch range. And Boston is uh, just south of Boston. You can expect 30 to 40 inches as well. All right, now we're moving into our 40 to 50 inch range. This is where you're going to see that great change. So normally, this region here is the great change because uh, we usually see about 30 to 40 inches in much of this region here, uh, especially down in the Pennsylvania. But now we're starting to get into those 40 and 50 inch range, and that's going to be stretching from Boston all the way down around the uh, Appalachian Mountains, all the way down to the Smoky Mountains, even the Blue Ridge Mountains as well. And then we're going to be heading back up north through the Pittsburgh area as well. Pittsburgh is included in this. Uh, Chicago, you're also in included in this as well. Um, just throughout the area here this is this is where that region is and uh, we're looking at 40 to 50 inches including rapid city south dakota so 40 to 50 inches that's what you're expecting here for this region and uh this is going to be a pretty interesting factor as 40 to 50 inches is a quite a deal more than let's say your average 30 to 40 inches so we get up into those higher amounts that's a couple feet extra and you got to be careful with that because uh some of those storms can bring eventually two feet of snow with them as well so we will be getting that more into our snowfall for our winter forecast sorry uh and we will be discussing those winter storms as well a bit more all right moving on to our second to last region here this is 50 to 60 inches so this is uh this isn't much more than 40 to 50 inches of course but we do see that uh great deal so some of these areas were also included in that 30 to 40 inches region last year and now you're moving up into that 50 to 60 inches as well so uh for those of you who normally get about 40 to 50 inches this isn't much more uh but when you see that 30 to 40 inch region and you head up to 50 to 60 inches, that's where things start to get a little bit more interesting. So uh, around the Pittsburgh area, throughout northern Pennsylvania, all the way down through the Appalachian region here um, and up through Boston, we see that 50 to 60 inch region here. And uh, this is a bit of a hefty region as well. Anything really above 30 inches is where you start to see a bit of that more those bigger systems come through uh, that will scatter around the snowfall season. But um, this heads up through northern Wisconsin, northern Minnesota, and wrapping around the Dakotas, heading down through pretty much the entire northwestern region here. So the entire northwestern region, you kind of are uh, expecting a bit of that uh, 50 to 60 inch action uh, around north of here, though, uh, north of anywhere around here and that's where you can expect even portland oregon and seattle are in that uh 50 to 60 inch region as well all right moving on to our final region this is where things start to get a bit more complicated because throughout these regions you could see even 90 inches possible but this is where we're going to kind of cut it off here uh we're not going to go much higher than this 
we're going to cut you off at about 70 inches here. So with our forecast, we're going to go here and we're going to start up through this giant portion in the northwestern United States. This goes down through some of these mountain ranges, um, as well as the California mountains, the western California mountains, 70 inches possible there. Some of these peaky ridges up here in northern California, 70 inches there, uh, 70 plus inches up here. So all these ranges are 70 plus inches and you can expect even 80 inches possible. Uh, we're just going to cut it off at 70 inches. Then we're going to wrap around through much of uh, these mountainous regions here as well into the Rocky Mountains um, and into the uh, mountains in northern Arizona. And then we see a bit of that ridgy action here. Uh, some spotty areas of 50 to 60 inch region here, but um, not too much. We're going to see mostly 70 inches plus here in that northwestern region. Now around the Great Lakes region, uh, we do see um a bit of that portion here so this as you can see we do have a bit of a cutoff here in eastern michigan so we do have a bit of that issue uh forecasting snowfall in eastern michigan so you are going to see as much there as the lake effect snow will be moving eastward and uh since you're over east here you're not really going to be seeing as much of that snowfall here but our lake effect snow anywhere on the western side or sorry on the eastern side um that has a west coast so if you live on the eastern side of the lakes and you have a west coast of the lake um that's where you're going to be seeing that a lot of that lake effect snowfall action so this is going to pick up again down here uh north of pittsburgh into uh into Ohio, Eastern Ohio, Northeastern Ohio. And then we're going to head down through the Appalachian Mountains, stopping at about Virginia. And then we're going to head back up through the area of Boston. And the entire Northeastern United States can expect 70 plus inches. So um, a lot of these areas up here in Northern Maine, you can expect up to about 90 to 80 to 90 inches. Maybe even some areas in, on top of some of those mountaintops seeing 100 inches of snow. All of you are used to that. Uh, but some of these areas can expect a bit of above average snowfall definitely throughout this snowfall season. I want to thank you all so much for watching today's video. I would ask you consider subscribing for more U.S. forecasts free of charge. And I would also ask that you consider following the Weather at a Glance official Facebook page for more inside information and complimentary personal forecasts when you message me on my Facebook page. Again, I want to thank you all for watching this video. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.